<laughs> Alright guys, hi. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, my name is Joey. Um, I'm joined by Christy today. Um, we're out here in sunny Sydney, Australia. Um, I'm a personal trainer out here in Sydney, Australia as well. Um, been here for a few years now. Do it. I focus on like personal training sessions, mainly based on boxing, but I also do fitness classes as well. Also boxing technique classes. They're um, hardcore guys. They're not hardcore. Being too kind, but yes, I don't take it easy in the class. All right, so what we started with today was with just simple, basic technique um, drills to get you focused on understanding the weight transfer on how to basically throw effective punches through using your weight from front leg to back leg. Okay, so what we started with was a cross hook and a cross. I call it a two hook two simply because it's just a lot easier to remember. So the two is you cross, when you land it you make sure that all of your weight is on that front leg, bring your hips nice and parallel and the back heel is up. Alright and then from there what we do we go with a hook. Left hook straight over the top, focus on rotating that front knee in and dropping all of your weight onto the back leg. I'll go through that again. So it's cross, all of the weight on the front leg, make sure you land that hook your weight transfers to the back leg, all right? That's what we're using for the power. Then now all of our weights on the back leg, we're gonna fire straight through again. And that's our final punch, all right? So it's cross, hook, cross. And as you watch my hips, all I'm doing is just rotating straight to the side and then back again, all right? So in this second part, we're doing exactly the same as we did in the first one. So the same combination is cross, hook, and cross again. As I said, I call it a two hook two, nice and simple. But what we're doing in here, we're throwing in a defensive move as well, which is called a slip. Now what I was dictating to uh, my friend here was that when you do your slip, imagine there's an upside down V right in front of you. And you want to move down one of the arms of that V, effectively moving and transferring your weight from one or the other leg, all right? So all it was was just a slip to the right, transferring the weight to the, um, the back leg. So she's gone cross, hook, then cross. Straight after that, she slipped to her right, dropping down, that weight's on the back leg, coming straight back, across again, all right? As I said, make sure that you've got your, you use the weight transfer to throw the effective punches, because if your weight's on the back leg, best punch to throw, cross straight over the top. So we've gone through the first two phases, now I wanted to really, really challenge the movement, okay? And again, these combinations, they're really, really simple and effective. You can do them over the space of like a minute or two and you get absolutely gassed out, right? So combination, like I said, was cross, hook, and cross. But this time, instead of throwing the step at her, I threw a roll, all right? So imagine I'm throwing out my left hook. All she's doing, I, did, I uh, described to her, was that when she lands that cross, I want her to drop down on that front leg immediately transfer the weight onto the back as the weight's on the back leg as i said most effective punch cross straight over the top so the combination was cross hook cross drop and roll land across again all right
And last but not least, all she did was cross, hook, cross, instead of the slip or the roll. This time she had her hands up, leaning back, all right? This is a good reaction game because if you've got the pads on, you're gonna put your hands up and just fire it straight at them, all right? And that uh, promotes speed, speed reactions, just to bounce back, keep the arms up, fire off with a cross again. So, one more time, it was cross, hook, cross, leaning back, come back with that cross. As you can see guys, Christine's gassed, all right? And we didn't do a lot there, all right? She's, uh, she's a really, really fit girl, but what the purpose of today was was basically just to show you that you can use those basic uh, training techniques that only take a space of like, what, 30 seconds per, per section, and then really, really challenge your uh, aerobic and anaerobic si um, systems. It's really, really good for cardio. You don't have to spend any more than what, like 10 minutes, 15 minutes. We've been out here for like 20 minutes or so, and she gassed. I've had a great time as well. Hey guys, if you're ever in the Sydney area and you're looking for someone to train with or uh, improve your boxing technique, or even just to work in your cardio um, exercises, then you can find me here. But also pay attention to here as well, because I post a lot of videos on uh, boxing technique and effective training methods to use with you and your friends. Exactly, and guys, and don't forget to share and like this video with your family and friends. And if you would like to follow me as well, you can follow me here.